Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Hollywood Joe from Hollywood's World of Sports with another styling and profiling video. You know, my motto has always been controversy doesn't come without criticism. Well today, I'm going to be talking about a topic that has a lot of controversy in it. So I'm just forewarning you ahead of time. There are going to be some things I say in here you don't like, you don't want to hear, and that you're totally probably going to disagree with. So here it goes. Late last year, it was uncovered that there was a sex abuse scandal going on at Penn State with Jerry Sandusky, the assistant coach. Um, that was under Joe Paterno for quite some time there. Now, as most of you know, Jerry Sandusky was sent to a trial, found guilty on, I think, all charges, I believe. Um, if not all charges, the majority of the charges. But Jerry Sandusky isn't the only one that's been punished. Uh, as you know, Joe Paterno was asked to resign from Penn State with only one game left, um, which he was happy about, and many people were unhappy. And shortly thereafter, Joe Paterno passed away. Um, probably, uh, probably three or four months after um, his um, termination from the college, he was a uh, diagnosed cancer and passed away. Uh, earlier this week, the NCAA handed down some severe punishments, some severe um, penalties towards Penn State. They fined Penn State $60 million, $60 million a four-year bull ban and the loss of many, many scholarships. They also are allowing any Penn State player to transfer without penalty up until the beginning of this college football season. The main thing that people are upset about, and this is where I start to get a little heated, is that they stripped Joe Paterno of 111 wins dating back all the way to 1998 up until last year. Now, I'm going to say this, and a lot of people are going to probably be upset with me. I feel bad for the victims of this tragedy, this scandal, what have you. I really do feel bad for them. But my question is, if Joe Paterno is being punished, even though he's dead, even though his legacy is being punished, why isn't the president of the university being punished? Why isn't the athletic director being punished? Why isn't the head of security being punished? Yes, they may no longer work there, the three people I mentioned, the past... Uh, past people that held these positions, but why aren't they being punished severely as well? Joe Paterno reported what he was told to the, his higher-ups. And my question is, is why hasn't Mike McQueary been on trial? He saw, he witnessed what Jerry Sandusky was doing, and to me, people say, People say Joe Paterno should have done more. Mike McQueary, the man who witnessed these heinous acts, he should have done more. If he knew that the athletic director, the president, the head of security, Joe Paterno himself, wasn't going to take further action, Mike McQueary should have went to the police. And I'm sorry, but because of Mike McQuarrie's actions, 
I believe he should be in jail for aiding and abetting a sex abuser, a sex offender. Because he did nothing. He said nothing to police about what was going on. That's my first point where I get heated. The second point I'd like to make is why was it necessary to take down the statue of Joe Paterno? I'm going to say this. Taking down a statue, stripping Joe Paterno of 11, 111 wins, does not take away the victim's pain. Does not, you know, does not justify what the victims went through. To me, it seems like the freaking media, especially ESPN, is focusing more on Joe Paterno than they are the man who committed the crimes, Jerry Sandusky. Joe Paterno is not here to defend himself any longer. We do not know what he knows. And as far as I'm concerned, to keep publicly trashing his name, to keep dragging him to the media, is wrong. The man is, the man is gone. Let the man rest in peace. Okay, I understand, okay, maybe he could have done more, maybe he couldn't, maybe he was, maybe, maybe Mike McQueary didn't tell him everything that was going on. We don't know. We don't know what Joe Paterno knew. And as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's, it's a shame that he was never allowed to go in front of a, you know, courtroom or a news conference to explain what what he knew it's, it's a shame because to me yeah, it's just it's just not right folks and you know I'm, I'm, I'm very heated about this as you can tell um, I'm just at a loss for words that they would remove a statue and strip him of a 111 wins like that. I don't get it. Uh, to me, Penn State's probably never going to be the same. You know, they're, they're, they're going to fall into the same category as SMU, who, you know, in 1987 suffered the death penalty for all the rules they broke. I mean, this is, a, this is unprecedented in college football history. It really is. And it's sad that the current students and athletes at Penn State have to suffer because of one man's actions. And I'm not talking about Joe Paterno. I'm talking about Jerry Sandusky. Jerry Sandusky is a sick individual, a sick man, a... Uh, a disgrace to the human race and that's a good rhyme a disgrace to the human race and I believe that Jerry Sandusky will get his in the end um, someone will probably do something to him in prison more than likely and Penn State is shattered not just the football program the university is shattered and I feel bad for the current students and athletes who have to live under that kind of scrutiny, who have to live under the impression that their university is not a safe place to be because of one man. And Joe Paterno, God rest his soul, I hope his family gets some peace finally. I hope his family will be left alone. Um, I hope someday, even though Joe Paterno is gone, we can find out what he really knew about the situation. Um, it just, it just sucks for everybody involved. But like I said, I think, I think the, I think the sanctions to the university may be a little too harsh. I think 
stripping Paterno of those wins and removing his statue was a little too much. A little too much because Joe Paterno didn't victimize anybody. Jerry Sandusky victimized people. And in my opinion, um, the legacy of Joe Paterno is gone because of this. The media, the media and Penn State University and the NCAA has killed the legacy of Joe Paterno. No question about it. And I really hope Jerry Sandusky rots. I really hope Mike McQuery is no longer allowed on Penn State grounds because to me he's the bigger he's he's to blame more than anybody in my opinion because he's the one that witnessed what was going on so with that being said to the victims my thoughts and prayers are with you I honestly hope you guys can move on with your lives um, I hope that someday the pain of what Jerry Sandusky did will be gone but the fact that you know Jerry you know it's just I'm sorry I'm just having a hard time putting this into words because it's so so touchy so controversial but I'll say this Jerry Sandusky just didn't victimize um, a bunch of young uh, young people. Jerry Sandusky, in a lot of ways, is the one that really killed Joe Paterno. So with that being said, um, like to hear your opinions on this. I'm sure I'm sure I'll have mixed reactions. I'm sure some of you will agree with what I'm saying, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of you that disagree. But at the end of the day, Joe Paterno. The legacy has been destroyed so um, hope someday we can all find out the truth for that uh, so long have a good night uh, God bless and Godspeed